Okay, got my little hair in a bun today. I felt really compelled to talk about this right now because I just did something that like technically involves you guys and it's something I kind of never thought I would do. I just deleted like 75% of my YouTube channel. And a lot of things have started this and made me realize I just, I need the content gone to feel like I can step into the new phase of me because who I was when I started this channel versus me now is an entirely different person. Inside and out, even the last few years, I've been changing even more. And there was just a lot of content on my channel that does not resonate anymore. And you guys know I started off my journey by being like a Tinder date, horrible date kind of person. I am obviously not in that era at all anymore. I've been with my person, with my fiance, Sebastian, for six or seven years at this point. I don't even know. Since 2017. And we are getting married in a few weeks. And I think I've put a lot of thought into the fact that I'm changing my last name. And I was debating for a while. I was like, do I change my last name on social media? But how will people find me? How will people remember me? When they search me, they're not going to find me. And I realized that I'm okay with that. I'm okay if people search up Olivia Cara and it's a changed name and they can't find the old videos or the old videos are deleted or archived. I'm okay with people not being able to find that version of me. I am ready to step into my more adult self as I have become a super healthy person. I've become a super just better person than I ever was in the past, to be honest. And I do feel like that me just brought on so much negativity into her life. The one that told story times and exposed herself in every which way and just really was dramatic and I feel like it brought on so much negativity to me back in the day and I just want to separate myself from those eras. I didn't delete everything. I still have quite a bit of videos up on my channel. I have like rave vlogs, try on hauls, makeup videos. I have like my classic Tinder story times like the part one, part two, part three. I still have things like that up so you can still go back and watch because I know a lot of you have told me that you do like to go back and watch videos and reminisce and stuff and trust me I do the same thing. I was just doing it right Right now as I was deleting my videos I was like watching videos and like the content that I've made through the years and it's a cute experience it's a cute experience but I think it was time for a fresh start and like I said I'm getting married in a few weeks I don't want all the craziness that I did to be attached to me anymore and I'm having a new name and I considered for so long I was like should I just keep my name on social media Olivia Cara but then change it legally because I'm a hundred percent changing it legally I want to be with my husband I want to to be like this like we are one I personally have just made the decision to take his last name and so I'm like why would I keep such an old me on social media an old name as sad as it is to lose your father's last name which that's a whole topic of conversation I am sad about that and to lose my original identity but I'm ready to step into the new one and I think what better time than where I'm at right now in life than to like really rebrand and yeah I decided today for like quite a few reasons that I was gonna go through and delete majority of my YouTube channel so if you go on my channel and you don't see the videos that you wanted to watch or that you were looking for from the past That is why a lot of a lot of bad vibes attached to the old me and the old videos I put a lot of thought into it and seriously, I was like, I don't even want to change it on social media Why do I care? Why do I care if people are searching for an Olivia Cara Tinder story time? I just don't you have to know me care about me come on my channel whenever I change the name and stuff And you can go watch those videos. I just no longer want to be attached to horrible date stories. I think also something that I've realized clearly I'm filming for you right now is once I did that I got really excited and I started to feel good. I am actually genuinely as you can even see I've been posting more. I am genuinely excited to film like new content. As of right now I'm pretty much a stay-at-home wife. I'm I clean, I cook, I chill, I work out every day, I eat healthy, I take care of Callie, I feed Callie. I just do basic housewife stuff. I'm not really like you know working full-time or doing anything crazy starting any businesses. I'm just chilling and I'm just ready for the new persona. Trust me, I am on my health grind. I am sober. I feel like I haven't really talked about that. I've been sober for months. I don't even remember the last time I drank alcohol. Months ago, I haven't dabbled in anything else and it feels really good. I'm just on my health journey. I also could
could make a video about this in the future. I don't know. I'm low-key getting out of raving as well. I'm not really, I'm not getting out of it. I don't think I'll ever be fully out of it or over it or grown out of it. I feel like truly you can rave as long as you want. It's truly for all ages, but I just feel like I'm not fully aligning with it lately. And as I look back at my experiences at the raves, I start to realize like, oh, maybe I didn't have the best time. Maybe it was really frustrating having to go in a really horribly dirty porta potty and it was really frustrating having to camp as fun as it was in the you know hotness and how uncomfortable it is like i'm the kind of person that has to shower after i leave the house i don't know how i would ever camp again truly like i don't know how i would ever do a camping music festival again as fun as nocturnal was last year i'm not like in the chaotic mode i don't know i'm like i listen to jazz music on my tv like i i don't want to say i'm becoming a grandma but i'm definitely my frontal lobe is developing and i'm just not having like the best time I could possibly have and I think I was being like eaten alive by FOMO for so long that Seb and I would just go to these things spend our money and just have like kind of a lackluster time I can't really remember the last time except maybe pre-pandemic where I truly, truly had the time of my life. I don't know, I just feel like it's changed. I am either aging out or just growing up. I don't really know. I do still wanna go to things here and there if there's like really good people on the lineup. I still am gonna wanna go. Like when I think back to it, it's like my heart starts to hurt, but I do feel like when I think back to raving, my brain is always going to like 2017. It's going to 2019. It's not really being like, oh my God, I missed stuff that I went to earlier this year. It's very strange. Nostalgia is a bitch. I am the most nostalgic person on planet Earth. So it makes it really hard to break away from things like raving and things that I've loved for so long because just that part of me wants to hold on to it so bad and like still love it and still go to everything and still have those experiences I had. And I just feel like it's never gonna be the same way again and it's really hard for me to come to terms with that. But I'm trying and I feel like the first step is to not force yourself to go to all these festivals and raves and vlog them that you just don't like fully have your heart in and like wanna go to. Too. I'm in such a transitional phase of my life and I feel like I've been in that phase for like a long time Like I've been transitioning into this new me for like years and it's like honestly exhausting Like I just want to chill, but I guess that's your late 20s. I guess that's your 20s in general I don't know. Also, this Saturday, I will be going to a tattoo removal consultation for like three or four of my tattoos. They're the smaller ones. There's no shading on them. They're super basic. They're just black, which apparently black ink is the easiest to get out. So I really do have confidence that they'd be able to remove these three to four tattoos that I really want gone. Other than that, I'm gonna keep my arm tats for the most part, for sure. Like I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna remove a whole sleeve, you know? And most of my leg pieces, but not all, but we'll get into that. So so I'm like really excited about that. I feel like I'm removing like things that every time I look at myself, it bothers me and I just don't like it anymore. I don't resonate with it. It's not the vibe and I'll make a whole video on like tattoo regret and all of that, trust me. Then I'll take you through my whole journey. Like I'll probably make multiple videos on it. I feel like it's interesting. It's crazy how you just like develop. Like, you know, what your mom says when you're 18, you think you're never gonna disagree. You think she's wrong, but nope, she was not wrong. Not to say I hate them all. I've always been someone that loves tattoos. Like definitely don't hate them all and won't be removing them all and I feel like they are me in a sense but some of them are just not me so um I would like to get those removed yeah I just feel like I'm entering a brand new era so I'm really excited to take you guys along with me because I do feel like I'm filming more genuinely like deleting those videos made me want to make more oh I have to sit up my back is hurting and I want to share this new chapter with you guys but I do feel like I have the freedom and I'm making smarter choices I'm pretty much a stay-at-home wife completely I'm not really going to raves and spending thousands of dollars anymore like we're being responsible we're living a better life day to day so I feel like there's more to talk about there's more to film I've reconnected with the best friend like I feel like I am changing and there's a lot for me to talk about in this like upcoming journey and I'm really excited for my wedding which I'm definitely gonna vlog too I'm mean, just not a wedding it's an elopement for sure I am not doing a big wedding cleaning out my YouTube made me feel a million times better so much lighter I deleted stuff with any like old boyfriends or whatever or flings or friends I deleted stuff that was just so not related to me anymore if I had it my way I'd probably delete everything past this year of videos like honestly but I've done a lot of that so I think it's enough so that's what I did today I went to the gym earlier as per usual I just had my chia pudding I am kind of still hungry 
stay tuned to all the new content and yeah don't be surprised if you see my username changing on all platforms and my name don't be shook it's still me okay i'm just gonna film like my basic life literally like i'm just gonna film what i do on a day-to-day -day basis which is basic but it makes me happy my other candle i showed you guys my apple one this also came in the set this is from target vanilla pumpkin this has to be one of the best fall scents and that reminds me i did do a lot of cleaning i literally did so much cleaning yesterday it was insane i did the dishes i unloaded them i have the dishes loaded in like you can't even tell but trust me like i did some work i put in some work i wiped down my entire oven i cleaned my ninja creamy let's be real i will always have one of these playing on my tv every single day while i'm enjoying my day drinking my coffee memoing my friends that's what i mean when i say i'm listening to jazz music every day. my makeup station is cleaner we cleaned her. I am actually so dumb for not showing you guys the before because the before was so cluttered in here. Literally yesterday, I took it upon myself to just clean everything. I cleaned like all the closets in my house and I organized all my clothes. I have clothes up there that I never wear. I have my favorite like pants and shorts and then I have all my favorite skirts right here. I have all my favorite jeans right here and then below is my shoes. There we go. Just had to turn that light on so that, that was better. This light just went out, so we need to call maintenance, but Callie is a menace whenever the maintenance come in, so we keep putting it off. So we're just using this lamp for now, but we really need to get that fixed. I put all of Seb's hats and my little hat. We have my pajamas. We have some of Seb's nice shoes. These two used to be stacked on each other. Like, it was really crowded in here, and I just got rid of so much stuff. I threw stuff away. We put stuff in our garage, and it's so much better. I have all my shoes under there. Those are my most worn things, which is basically black and white and gray <laughs> and brown um all the neutrals go right here and then this is just like crazy colored stuff that i honestly like never wear bathing suits up there old lingerie and yeah i do need a vacuum in here so that will be done shortly i do need to vacuum the house so i'll be doing that i also did end up kind of organizing the space in here as well and just putting things like back where they belong this is some gift wrapping stuff our laundry basket swiffer vacuum everything we need is in this little house we went from a two bed to a one bed and it really wasn't that bad and honestly i kind of prefer it here decided to go through and really organize the shoe area so all of our like quick to go shoes we have our slides we have our running shoes that's pretty much it and then some to go jackets and then i just organized some stuff up there just some of seb's old shoes in case he ever wants to wear them or we're gonna toss them i had to put some depop clothes in my closet and in the hall closet so yeah check out my depop if you are interested in anything the next day so i just got done with my workout it was so good i had like so much energy today i ate a little bit more than usual last night which is like so perfect for your morning workout because you just have so much more energy i took like a progress pic in the mirror and i am very proud so it was a very good morning i'm gonna go upstairs probably post my instagram or something and i don't know make a healthy breakfast shower have my coffee do my little morning routine so but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.